Hey guys, now it's time for me to give my final thoughts about season two. Um, I have to say now I have way better pictures. Here is the um lightning dragon. And I could have I had the earth dragon and fire dragon, but I do not. But I think I don't have the main card. Dang it. Sorry about that, but I will show a glimpse of the devourer. So now you know what he looks like. Partially. But now we have finished the whole part with the snakes, snakes in the fang blade, and st and I'm not explaining what the fang blades are. You're probably like, what? What fang blades? Ah, who cares? But now we're going to talk about what happens after Lord Garmadon lost the mega weapon. Now this is where the series gets really awesome, and I mean real awesome. Now there's a bunch of stone samurai warriors running around, or indestructible stone samurai warriors. That's basically the full name for them. And um, now um, Lloyd be can become the Gold Ninja, which is really cool. Season finale was amazing, spectacular. It really just pumped blood into my... It, it, rushed, it just pumped blood rushing through my veins. It was crazy. I've never seen a Cartoon Network season finale so spectacular, especially with Lloyd having to fight the giant dragon overlord. But I have to give a few other final thoughts about um, the uh, part of season 3. Now, besides the whole Stone Samurai Warrior, here guys, besides them, the very best scenes that we can get, that we probably got that were really creative, was in episode 13, which is when the snakes were, I mean, well, when the ninjas were fighting the snakes in the subway. They couldn't use their weapons, but the snakes had weapons, so they had to resort to using other weapons that they just found in the subway, which I think was really creative. That's what I think of, that's what happened when I think of ninjas. And plus, they, um, not, and another one, Lord Garmadon used the mega weapon to create evil ninjas, and they had to fight those guys, which I thought was really cool. You can see that they they completely are fighting the same exact way. They have the same exact thought, and so they're not. So they really like the battles were really good, and, and really um, spectacular, I must say. So instead of them always having to spin around, they had to do, they had to resort to the to this, which was pretty cool. So it was kind of. Nice to do that. Um, they also got new weapons and new get-ups, which was real cool because it's kind of nice that now they all have swords now to keep it kind of equal. But they all do command, like earth, ice, fire, light. And I don't want to spoil any alerts on that, but that's basically what I'm going to tell you. Um, there's